From Municipal Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio, two powers in professional football meet for the first time ever as members of the new American Football Conference of the National Football League. The New York Jets, led by the passing wizardry of Joe Namath, and the Cleveland Browns, led by the power running of Leroy Kelly. This ABC Sports Exclusive is brought to you by Marlboro Filter Cigarettes. Come to where the flavor is. Come to Marlboro country. By Ford and your Ford dealer who invite you to come in and test drive the 1971 Ford. The cars with the better ideas. And by Goodyear, the only makers of long-wearing polyglass tires. It is a hot, sultry, almost windless night here at Municipal Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio, where the Browns will play host to the New York Jets. And here at midfield on the gridiron itself, as we await the opening kickoff, we will see two teams, two of the outstanding teams in professional football. Each accorded a chance to reach the Super Bowl each an Eastern Division champion in its respective league a year ago. This is what the cover of TV Guide looked like back in September of 1970 when we debuted. The cover story reads, Pro Football Tackles Doris Day. And the listings inside reveal some pretty stiff competition. The two men who made Monday Night Football a reality, NFL Commissioner Pete Rozelle and the man with whom he negotiated the first contract, ABC's Rune Arledge, remember how that debut came about. Actually, we had somewhat of a track record because we had experimented on even five primetime games with CBS for various nights of the week earlier in the 60s. And we were convinced that we'd go. And uh, we talked to CBS and they said, you know what, move, move Doris Day? And uh, they, they had Carol Burnett that night. Too, and the NBC had Monday Night Movie. So then I talked to him and uh, made a case of these five previous primetime games that done well. And he was obviously very interested, and he knew he would have to do a selling job on the network, perhaps. We figured that we would lose something like 100 of our stations who would carry the football games independently, which would have wiped us out on Monday night. And so it was really fear more than anything else that is the way I got the network to agree to it. Back in 69, when we were negotiating this, we had a provision in the contract that ABC had to guarantee that every game would be shown in color because it wasn't necessarily automatic in those days. And here are the rosters of our first game as they appeared in TV Guide. And as indicated by the C in the upper right-hand corner, the game was indeed broadcast in color. Keith Jackson, Howard Cosell, and Don Meredith were reporting. It was no surprise that Joe Namath was in the spotlight of the very first Monday Night Football game ever. Calling the action were ABC announcers Keith Jackson, Howard Cosell, and the former Dallas Cowboy quarterback Dandy Don Meredith. The very first play on Monday night was a very short game for Namath and the Jets. He's up to 36 for two. Namath's first game. pass from scrimmage Namath also went awry. Swings at the snow and he dropped it. It was a forward pass. He may have been called Broadway Joe, but his Jets were never ready for prime time. 
I don't have good memories of playing on Monday night because my teams didn't fare well. And the ball game for the second half is underway as Jim Turner kicks off. It goes to Homer Jones. Homer takes it at the six-yard line for the Cleveland Browns, and he breaks into the open. fourth quarter, Cleveland led 24-14 as Joe Namath and the Jets fought their way back. Joe to throw. He's going deep into the corner for Sally. He's got it! First down, New York at their own 18-yard line. 47 seconds to play. The Browns lead 24-21. to Before more than 85,000 people, Snydo almost gets famous. The pass is intercepted! It is intercepted by number 52, Billy Andrews! So from the beginning, Monday Night Football was a huge success on the field. The games that stick out were the tough losses. I made a very poor throw, and it was intercepted by a linebacker, and we lose the game. It was late in the game, and uh, if we take it down and score, we'll probably win. 